Hi everybody, hope you had a great summer and glad that you've clicked on to join us as we're about to start another football season on VitefortBend.com. We're your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports and this is the 2022 Football Preview Show. I'm Roger Smith letting you know that VitefortBend.com will have broadcast games on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday all season long, sometimes two games on Saturday. And when we, get, when we get into that second weekend in November, we'll have playoff games, and we will keep bringing those to you as long as our Fort Bend teams advance. God willing, we'll make it to the second week in November. Coming up, we'll have visits with coaches from all over Fort Bend ISD. And there's a lot that's different in 2022. Marshall and Willow Ridge have no district opponents from HISD, and that will make their games, especially Buffs games, much more listenable and watchable. Marshall's district opponents were no match for the Buffs during the last four seasons, and many of their games were about 50 to nothing by halftime. Now, Marshall and Willow Ridge will face teams like Dayton, Nederland, Port Natchez Groves, Santa Fe and Texas City should be much more competitive. They are in Class 5A, Division 2, District 9. Kempner has a new football coach as Darren Andrus has moved on to take an assistance position at Manville. And you'll meet Troy DeGar during our VipeFortBend.com preview show. He is Kempner's successor, and Kempner will be playing in 5A Division 1, District 10 with some district opponents they're familiar with, such as Angleton, Foster, Manville, and Terry, but some new faces such as Fulcher, Friendswood, Magnolia, and Magnolia West. In 6A, there's only one change, but it's a big one, and it is Hightower moving up from Class 5A to Class 6A. And so now District 26A has nine teams in it, the Hurricanes, the seven other 6A teams from Fort Bend ISD, and George Ranch from Lamar Consolidated ISD. So sit back and enjoy our football preview show on VipeFortBend.com, which will be done mostly in ABC order. And we'll give you a hint. Our first coach encounter comes from peaceful, bucolic Pheasant Creek in Sugarland. Stay with us. Now with Xfinity, you'll get unlimited internet with gig speed and supersonic Wi-Fi. With a two-year internet rate guarantee, no annual contract required, and no equipment fees. Talk about knock your socks off. Ooh, plus a free Flex 4K streaming box. It's like hitting the streaming jackpot. It's all just 50 bucks a month when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data. 50 bucks a month. A price that's truly jaw-dropping. Oh, literally. The speed you need at a price you want. Value that's simply bananas. <laughs> that's the new Xfinity Supersonic Bundle. It's kind of a big deal. Go to Xfinity.com slash gig, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store to learn more. Limited time offer. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. New gigabit internet customers only. Xfinity Mobile requires post-pay Xfinity internet. After 24 months, regular rates apply to all services and devices. Welcome everybody to the VibeFortBend.com football preview show. And you hear music in the background because everywhere there are football players practicing, there are also bands practicing. And as uh, speaking of music, the as Stevie Wonder once famously sang, you can start right away at letter A. That's from the, the hit Sir Duke. And letter A is Austin. The Austin Bulldogs. It's time to visit with Coach A, Coach Arrow, Coach Mike Arabonlo. Welcome in, and first of all, let's sum up your summer. How was it? Summer was great. Uh, most of the summer was here watching the kids and working the kids out and, and, and seeing them progress. So uh, summer was great for us. We had some great workouts and we're fired up. It's August. It's time to play ball. As we talk right now, we're getting a nice little breeze. It's fairly comfortable, but you know how comfortable you are depends on how well you prepare during the summer for all these these tough August workouts. So how did your guys work over the summer and what kind of shape are they in? 
I feel like we're in great shape. Uh, our turnout this summer was tremendous. Uh, you know, going 0 and 10 last year. Uh, this group, uh, even from back in the in the spring, uh, decided that this year was going to be different. And uh, you can tell that with the summer workouts, the intensity was great, the camaraderie was great, and the leadership was was phenomenal. So uh, we're all excited about this upcoming season. Not just because uh, it's football season, but because the work the kids put out this summer. It's got to be very encouraging for you because when you do have a rough season like you had last year, you know, you don't always expect that you're going to get more guys coming out for football. You know, nothing succeeds like success. And when you have a lack of success in one year and you still get more players coming out, that's a great thing. So how did that happen? Well, just the commitment that our staff and, uh, you know, just the entire community has put into, uh, they still believe, uh, mantra this year is Believe 22, and they still believe in what we're trying, what, what we're selling and what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve here. Uh, this group of, of seniors were my first year freshmen, uh, and you can kind of tell that they're excited about the program and that brought more players in. Uh, we're, we're very excited about our number count. Uh, we haven't been over 100 uh, since I first got here. So uh, we're over 100 now in players, and it's because our players are excited as well of, of our team. In your varsity group, I guess it's sometimes uh, it might be a little bit oversimplified, but usually you either have a young team or you have an experienced team. Would you say your team is heavier one way or the other? Well, we played 13 sophomores last year uh, and started a couple of freshmen as well. So we were very young last year. This year, uh, we're, we're, we're led by a bunch of seniors, uh, which we didn't have this, in the past year. So I feel like we are at peaking at the right time with our senior group and, and even some younger guys still playing. Um, but when you played 13 sophomores, it was tough, uh, but they've learned a lot of lessons and they've grown up very, very quickly. Quarterbacks always get too much attention, uh, too much blame, too much credit one way or the other. It's just the way it is. Yes, sir. Because they are such a visible player and, and they're in such a leadership role. You're, are you set on your starting quarterback and what are his attributes? Well, yes, we are setting our starting quarterback. Uh, his, his name's Jamal Franklin. Uh, he's a senior, and, uh, and you know he's played receiver, was sophomore. He played corner on varsity, and then last year was our uh, leading receiver, and now is our is our best athlete playing quarterback. So uh, he, he's taking the reins and and taking strides uh, playing quarterback and learned the offense, uh, and we're excited about him. You remember us sharing a laugh. About this time last year when we were talking about Jamal and you, you blanked on his last name. But I can't judge you because I blank on certain guys' last name or first name from time to time. But obviously he overcame an injury that I remember knocked him out of an early game. Uh, a game, I think it was against Ridgepoint. Did he suffer an injury early against them? Yes, sir. He surfed versus Ridgepoint. And I still, I don't know how I blanked on his name, but uh, I, I sure remember his name now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I, I see the athletic ability. It looks like the rollout can be a great weapon because if he needs to pull it down and run, he can do that. And he's he's got a good quick release and some tight spirals. So... I guess he's very versatile, right? Correct. I mean, uh, one, the easy thing for him, like I said, he's a 4'3 kid. Um, speed is, you know, he's a track track athlete. Um, I don't know specific times off off head right now, but uh, speed is very simple. Very, uh, being an athlete is the easy part for him, but a lot of people are going to be shocked about what he can do from the pocket. Uh, he's improved tremendously uh, in his throwing ability, and we've been pleased with the strides he's taken and improving as a quarterback overall as well. Most of the time, are you going to have three receivers, four, uh, a mix of both? How's it going to go? We'll have a mixture. Uh, we're a multiple offense, so um, probably base out of three receivers, um, but we'll, we'll have a lot of sets where we have four receivers in as well. Well, I noticed that uh, the girls' athletic coordinator, LaQuisha Dickerson, head, uh, head basketball coach for the girls, has brought you a pretty good player to add to your receiving core. Young Krishan Fitch, 
nicknamed Smiley. Yes, we call him Smiley Krishan Fitch. Uh, he'll be a starting outside receiver for us as a sophomore. So he's one that's, uh, that's uh, again, shown so much improvement from the spring uh, and continues to improve, and we look forward to that. We're excited about to see what he's going to do this this uh, fall. Uh, but he'll be one of the only – he's actually the only sophomore starting on offense for us. And you've got uh, a pair of twins, the Leach twins. One of them is Jack. He's a receiver, correct? And right. he is going to have to get an injury healed up before he can get on the field for you. Yes, unfortunately, Jack uh, hurt uh, hurt his hip yesterday, uh, or fractured his growth plate and whatnot. So he'll be out for uh, probably five weeks now. Um, but uh, And also his brother, Matt, is a corner for us. And those twins... It's always good to have twins on your team, right? So uh, we, we love both of them, and we hope Jack comes back quickly. And by the way, Bulldog fans, do not despair. Uh, I guess I forgot to tell Coach Arabonlo, don't say yesterday or anything, because as we tape this interview, it is uh, August the 13th. Mm. And so the injury occurred on August the 12th. So he's a little closer to full recovery than, than it sounds. It wasn't like he was hurt you know, yesterday, the day before this uh, show airs. So we'll take a quick break here and get a message from Next Level Urgent Care. From Owl to Wow, they've got you covered. We'll be right back with Mike Arabonlo of Austin on VipeFortBend.com. Next Level Urgent Care. They support Fort Bend County sports, and they support you whenever you're hurting. They're here for the community, open seven days a week, nine till nine for you and your family at 28 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Siena, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four of them in Katy. From babies to grandparents, Next Level is committed to bringing you the highest quality health care for everyone. From ow to wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered, and if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUC. APP to 313131. That's NLUC APP to 313131 for next level urgent care. We're back with Mike Arabonlo on the the Austin Bulldogs portion of our VipeFortBend.com preview show. And you got a lot of guys coming back who really want to rid your program of the memory of a rough season last year. Defensively, what you're going to be bringing? Defensively, we'll be bringing Latana M. M Ozoke, uh, which will be playing defensive end for us. I mean, he's a 6'4", 240-pound uh, defensive end, uh, but has a lot of college interest, and he's, he's coming off the edge. And, uh, we look for big things for us from, from a senior like that. Uh, at, on the linebacker level, we're looking at Ray Holmes uh, moving for us from side lakes. He's had a tremendous spring and summer, um, so he'll be calling our defense and, and, and running and getting us lined up correctly. Uh, obviously, on the back end, we have two returning starters, and one is a captain, and Hugh Rolls will be one of our safeties. Uh, he'll be a junior, and he's a, the only junior captain we have, and he's been a leader for us all summer. Uh, and we also expect big things from Jason Tanner from which will be playing some corner and just safety for us uh, this upcoming year on the back end. So we're excited about our defense, uh, have a lot of experience, not not very young at all uh, on, on the defense. And obviously uh, bringing in Coach Trey Herman that's been a head coach and has experience as a great experience as a defense coordinator it's going to be an asset for us all year long and in addition to coach herman who else have you added to your staff yes sir we're very excited about coach cameron harvey which is our defensive line coach uh just to seeing the improvements on the defensive line even in just this short period of time we're excited to see that uh we also added uh coach dexter james which will be assisting the defensive line as well uh you know, both of these guys play college football, and they understand what it takes to be a, to have a successful program. Um, and also, Coach DJ uh, Cufferson will be assisting them as well on the back. Coach Herman on the back end. Uh, those are the coaches that we've added. Uh, Returning coaches, obviously Coach Bokchak will be coaching our linebackers. Uh, he's been been here for, I believe, about seven years. Uh, he's been here my whole time that I've been here, the four, you know, going into my fourth year now. And on the offensive side, I'm still excited to be working with Coach Blake Nessessa, which is our offensive coordinator, 
Um, you know, I've been working with him now 10 plus years, and it just it's just it's so smooth and easy for us to work together every time. Uh, he coaches the offensive line, and uh, obviously love having Coach Tyler Smith, which is our, also our special teams coordinator and our running backs coach, uh, and, that, and the great job he does there. Uh, this year we're also having Coach Omar Abdul Majid, which will be our receivers coach. He's been an asset in his short period of time being here as well. Uh, so that's the other new coach that we have. Uh, well, not really new. He was a coach in defense last year, and now he's coaching offense. All right, that's Mike Arabonlo. We appreciate your time, and uh, you always get to lead off, and maybe one of these years we'll flip it and we'll let you go last. I'm, I'm so sorry, Roger. <laughs> one last thing. Oh, right that's now, no worries. Missing, missing our assistant head coach, Akeem Amora. I'm, I'm so sorry. I almost left him off. Uh, he's actually in in the maternity ward there the baby should be coming anytime soon now uh so he's not with us today and so i don't, I don't know why i blanked out on that but he's our outside linebacker coach uh he's been our defense coordinator in the past as well and, and i've known him since i was in high school uh so uh he's a he's a great asset on our staff as well well and also uh just always the great celebration of welcoming a child into the world and you know uh I just the the phrase these precious kids keeps popping into my head right, right. and they they grow up and some of them they're <laughs> good athletes and these these uh, baby girls and baby boys grow up to play varsity sports and it's the circle of life and it's a beautiful thing yes sir it's always great to, it's a blessing uh, you know every, when my boys were born that was a blessing to be there and I know he's excited about having his second boy being born today too so uh, just keeping prayers that everything goes well with mama and baby all right we'll be back on the vibefortben.com football preview show and talk about the bush broncos fighting for that playoff spot that is available to all in district 26a we'll be right back All right, everybody, sometimes we're not able to deliver everything that we hoped we could deliver, and in this case, we didn't get a chance to visit with the head coach of the Bush Broncos, that being Alan Aldridge, but I can tell you that what's interesting about the upcoming year is that Bush is going to try to get back to the playoffs, and I think about the way last season ended. The most triumphant moment for Bush was in their final regular season game when they defeated Clements. And in defeating Clements, that meant that they did not have to play Katie in the first round of the playoffs. Now, the Broncos lost anyway in round one of the playoffs, but it was nice not to have to play against the Katie Tigers. So for Bush, their most triumphant moment was beating out Clements for the third seed in the district. And then you look at Clements. By the way, we're not going to visit during this program with either Coach Aldridge or Bobby Darnell of Clements, but we're going to be talking to Bobby Darnell during the Countdown to Kickoff show on Thursday of this week when they kick off our broadcasts of all the Fort Bend County games. It's going to be Rangers versus Rangers, Terry against Clements. So the greatest triumph for the Clements Rangers was when they beat George Ranch in the ninth game of the season. That clinched their playoff spot but they were not able to get the win over Bush in the final week of the season, and that's why Clements had to take on Katie. And they fought for a while, did their very best, but, you know, Katie is Katie, and it's very, very difficult to overcome what Katie brings. So that gives us B and C, and now next we're going to have D, and that is the Dulles Vikings, the charter school from Fort Bend ISD. We'll talk to their head coach, Dennis Bird. We'll be right back with you on VibeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. 
Back, 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 back to school savings for your vehicle. First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations make sure you won't be stalling out in the carpool lanes with 15% off AC Delco batteries, $100 off four installed tires, or save up to $75 on other repairs and maintenance minimums apply. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and to book your appointment today. First Tire and Automotive with four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Welcome back to the VipeFortBend.com preview show. And as I talk to Shane Bird of Dulles, I think that back on the 14th of August, I went to a concert. It was Men at Work, and that's what you see, young men at work and, of course, the old men who coached them on fields all over uh, Fort Bend County. So tell us, what should the Vikings fans look for when you put your team on the field in 2022? Yeah, we're uh, <clears throat> you know, off to a good start here. Coming out of the summer, um, our guys are, uh, you know, getting back into the school routine and uh, putting the, the pads on and obviously battling through some of the weather issues and the, and the heat. But, man, they've had a great attitude. They really uh, worked hard when we stepped on the field or, or been in the film room. You know, you're going to see a, a tough physical football team. We're really excited about our, our defensive uh, inside linebackers, Travion Richard, Justin Afoma, um, those guys are, are solid and tough. And then our back end, uh, safety's Gio Navarrete's coming back from a, a leg injury last year that prevented him from, from finishing his junior year. Um, Carter Truscott is going to be a, a, a stud on the back end back there. And uh, Jarrett Mitchell and, and, um, and Taj as well. So, man, uh, we're excited about those guys on defense and, uh, and, and, and what they're going to bring this season. We're with Shane Bird of Dulles, and we really do appreciate you making time because I know there is pretty much no time once the practices begin. And let's talk about how last year you introduced an offensive scheme that was a little bit unfamiliar to your players, and you had to install that. So you really have to commit to something like that, and we're going to see more of the same attack. And what's the best way to describe it for the layman? Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, we're going to be under center. Uh, wing T based offense, um, misdirection, power, you know, really re relying on our guys up front. Uh, we got a really good tight end, Victor Adderum Boy. He's had a great spring, a great summer in seven on seven. Um, he's, he's got really good hands and he's a great blocker. So we're looking to, to maybe throw the ball a little bit more, get the ball to him on the edge. Um, Cole Hodges is a speedster in the backfield for us. Um, um, Ade Samazi is a tough runner. And then our quarterback, Kaysen Bird, uh, was really good. To look good this spring. Look good in seven on seven. Uh, so we may be a little bit more explosive coming out this year, throwing the ball around than we have been in the past, using our run to set up the play action. Um, but, man, we're excited. Just got to keep getting better each day and each week. It may not be real 21st century to have an offense that maybe they don't put up 40-plus points a game, but – I know you have a lot of confidence in your defense so that if that offense can just spend some clock, make first downs, get enough points, then the defense can maybe even get a few points on their own and hold the opposition down. What do you have on the defensive side? Yeah, I mean, it's that, that's exactly right. We want to shorten the game down um, and, and use our, our defense to, um, to hold teams. And uh, like I said, those guys on the back end, um, are uh, they've got a great nose for the ball. Um, they they can make plays, get interceptions, um, and they're physical. You know, uh, our safeties um, are going to come down and strike people. Maxwell Cotton's another one that that is fast and physical. And man, he he's had a really good summer, and we're expecting big things out of him. But man, our defense is solid. Our defensive line, we got to we got to plug a few holes there. But we got some young guys coming along. Micah Owens is one of them. And uh, man, we're just ready. We, we scrimmage Aldine uh, Aldine Davis this week. <clears throat> and uh, looking forward to seeing how we do there. All right. Well, we wish you the very best of luck, and the Vikings are going to be on VibeFortBend.com. I believe our plan is to have you on at least a half a dozen times. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to seeing the fruits of your hard labor with you and your staff and your players. And thanks for being with us on the VibeFortBend.com preview show. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Go Vikings. And if I remember my alphabet, I think that means that Elkins is next. And we'll talk to Dennis Brantley of the Knights. Thank you very much to Shane Bird of the Dulles Vikings. We'll continue with our program on VipeFortBend.com right after this.
Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenall with Nevo Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. All right, so we mentioned Elkins and Dennis Brantley, but like Coach Aldridge at Bush and like Coach Darnell at Clements, we were unable to make the connection with Brantley during those workouts and practices there was a lot of rain interruptions there were lightning interruptions and it was just difficult and and by the way in my particular school job which is not in Fort Bend ISD I was already having school uh, duties and responsibilities on August the 1st so I was unable to make connections with all of those but I think it'd be a good time to tell you that our very first Bush broadcast will be on Saturday the 10th of September as the Broncos take on the district favorites in District 26A, the Ridge Point Panthers. That game will be at Tully Stadium, by the way. Fort Bend is, uh, I guess, a one-stadium district for this season. You know, last year we had games at Hall, but Mercer Stadium was unavailable. Now Mercer Stadium is open again, and Hall is unavailable for the season. So we look forward to 2023 when we have two stadiums open for business, so to speak. But we also want to tell you our first week of coverage is Clements against Terry. Bobby Darnell trying to take his team to the playoffs for the second year in a row. They got there for the first time in a long time last year. What an amazing season it was. So that's Thursday night. Clements against Terry. Rangers versus Rangers. Then on Friday night, it's Lamar Consolidated taking on Willow Ridge at Mercer Stadium in a non-district game. And then Saturday night... It is Clear Lake and Dulles. You just heard from Coach Bird at Dulles, and so his team will break the seal on the season when they take on Clear Lake Saturday night. We'll have it for you on VipeFortBend.com. And let's see. Down the road will be our first Elkins game. And don't worry, it'll come in September, but we will have Elkins against Clements in September on the 15th. That is a Thursday night, Elkins against Clements. All right, Roger Smith with you on the VibeFortBend.com football preview, and we'll be back to talk to Troy Degar of Kempner. He's the new coach for that program. We'll be right back after this. Do you want to be a better volleyball player? And I mean the best you can be? The best place to learn is the volleyball school on Franz Road in Katy and soon to be open in Aliana on West Belford. The Volleyball School helps kids all over Fort Bend raise their game to excel on their high school varsity and on the most competitive club teams. It takes hard work to make most of your talent, but you already know that. Just know that the Volleyball School makes it fun. Log in to thevolleyballschool.com or call 832-736-3191. Welcome back to the VibeFortBend.com football preview show and it's time to talk to Troy DeGar, brand new coach of the Kempner Cougars and coach uh, there's going to be a lot of changes not just in the type of scheme perhaps that your team is going to run but also you got a new district alignment let's talk about what's ahead in 2022. Um, first of all just uh, really excited to be here at Kempner to be at the helm uh, it's been a great experience so far. Uh, our kids are working really hard and, and have bought into uh, the changes that we have brought with us. And so um, as far as uh, the new alignment, uh, it's going to be pretty tough. Um, but would you have it any other way? So, uh, you know, we, we'll get to test our metal fairly early. Uh, we'll go down to Santa Fe and then we'll have Pasadena Memorial and we'll jump right in the district with, uh, with Friendswood. So we're looking forward to the challenge, uh, doing everything that we can on the front end to get prepared. Our staff is doing a great job with, with our young people implementing uh, their schemes and the different things that they want to do, um, getting great support in the building by administration and our colleagues. And so um, just real excited. Well, you mentioned schemes, and I don't know if you can tell me this. Uh, you might have to uh, hold me hostage for a couple of weeks if you did tell me, but for years under Darren Andrus, there was the flex bone offense, and Kempner changed it up a little bit last year, a little bit, a lot where they were in more of a pro-style offense. So can you 
describe what scheme the Kempner offense is going to have in 2022. Uh, offensively, uh, we're going to try to be multiple. Uh, I think you will continue to see the evolution uh, from the flex bone going to more of a pro style spread type uh, offense. Uh, it's what I did for years as offensive coordinator. Our offensive coordinator, uh, Samuel Scott's a, a, a rocking young guy. He, uh, he was under me uh, at Bel Air, and so a lot of what he does comes from uh, my brain trust, and so that's why he was one of the first hires. Uh, I was able and so excited to sneak him away from, from Hightower, and so, uh, yeah, you, you, you'll see a continued evolution. Well, I know that since you found out in June that you were going to get the job, um, I know there, there might be a few assistants that are left over that might be able to help you kind of understand what you have as far as personnel, but how would you assess from a character and talent standpoint? Are there any particular players that you know are going to be a big part of the success that you have available to you? Yeah, um, uh, the, the guys that have stayed and remained on the staff has been great, uh, kind of giving us a, a understanding of wh what the, the people that, that are here still can do. Um, so at quarterback, we'll have a young man, uh, Goss, who uh, took most of the snaps last year. Uh, he's been real receptive and, and, and kind of taken to the offense really well. Uh, A-Dub, uh, he's, he's going to play all over the place for us. Um, We've got, we got some guys, Cody Pham on defense and um, Chibua Kamome. Uh, we, we've got some guys. I was, as a matter of fact, I was really pleased with the level of talent that was still here. Obviously, uh, it's going to take a little bit to kind of get them assimilated to what we do uh, schematically, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good about what we have. Now it's just time to, to build that depth. And I always like to kind of talk about units and so forth but I, I really when when you said Cody Pham I remember he was making play after play on defense last year and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what Kempner has in store but you have such a big job you know making sure they get to know you and figure out exactly what your vision is for the Cougars you got some schematic changes to do and you and your staff have to evaluate so I know I, I just want to thank you for taking some time out <laughs> Uh, well, we appreciate you, and uh, any time that we can uh, shine our, our light on our program and, and have the opportunity to, uh, to market what it is that we do, we, we love to do it. All right, and we'll see. Wouldn't it be great to have the Kempner Cougars playing football in the second weekend in November? That's something that people who are proud alums of this school would love to see. Definitely, and that's, that's what we're working to, um, just starting a competitive mentality. Um, we expect to, to, to make plays. We expect to compete. And so uh, that's how we're training now, and, and that's what we're going to continue to do. And we'll build on it, and, and we're going to get there. That is Troy DeGar. He's the brand-new coach of the Kempner Cougars. Glad you're with us. Good luck this year. And coming up next, if we're going alphabetically, which we can't go alphabetically the whole way, next up is the Marshall Buffs. And they have a great program, and I'm sure that you're at times happy that they're not going to be in – D1. They'll be in D2, and you can both meet each other at Jerry World, but not play against each other. Indeed, indeed. You got to you gotta dream big, you know? You got to. That's what we teach, you know. We, uh, we, 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 we set the standard high, and, and then we give ourselves something to live up to. All right. That's Troy DeGar of Kempner, and we'll be back with James, James Williams of Marshall. Can he get his team back to the state finals again, as he's done twice already? We'll be right back. Now with Xfinity, you'll get unlimited internet with gig speed and supersonic Wi-Fi. With a two-year internet rate guarantee, no annual contract required, and no equipment fees. Talk about knock your socks off. Ooh! Plus, a free Flex 4K streaming box. It's like hitting the streaming jackpot. It's all just 50 bucks a month when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data. 50 bucks a month. A price that's truly jaw-dropping. Oh, literally. The speed you need at a price you want. Value that's simply bananas. <laughs> that's the new Xfinity Supersonic Bundle. It's kind of a big deal. Go to Xfinity.com slash gig, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store to learn more. Limited time offer. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. New gigabit internet customers only. Xfinity Mobile requires post-pay Xfinity internet. After 24 months, regular rates apply to all services and devices. Welcome back to the VibeFortBend.com preview show, and there's a lot to be excited about with the 2022 season. 
And I say that when I think about the Marshall Buffs because we're with James Williams with our our preview show visit in Coach Williams. I love the fact that you're going to have a district, a different district alignment and some stronger opponents that will really help you out as far as keeping you sharp during the season. Uh, yes, definitely. First, thanks for having me on again this year. I uh, always looking forward to uh, working with you guys and 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 uh, doing our pregame shows. But uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a different district. It's going to be a different year for us. We're excited about it. You know, at, at the end of the day, you want to be prepared for the playoffs. You you definitely uh, you know you 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 want to be in position when that first round comes where you can uh, you know be close to peaking and be you know be playing the best football you've played all season. And uh, so hopefully uh, this year, and, and I have no doubt uh, this district is probably one of the toughest in our region, if not the toughest. So it's going to be a challenge this weekend and week out. There are no gimmies, and we're going to have to earn everything we get. I know that's very important for you and your staff and your players, but from a fan standpoint, I look back to an old friend of mine in the late 1960s. He was at the University of Houston, not an athlete, but they were at the time were an independent football program because the Southwest Conference was very slow to integrate and would not let the U of H in, so they had to play this independent schedule. And when they got in the Southwest Conference, the first three of the first four years, they won it. But uh, my old family friend said that he would rather watch his Cougars lose to Arkansas than watch them beat Villanova. Not that I think the Buffs are necessarily going to lose any games this year uh, in the district schedule, but I know it's going to be tougher. How do you feel as if you put yourself in the place of a fan? Uh, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, you, what counts is the playoffs. What counts is, you know, round one getting better and better uh, as the playoffs go on. Um, you know, uh, we got some very tough opponents. Very, even our non-district has is, is got some really, really good, strong programs. So, you know, we're going to be battle-tested. You know, it's intentionally done. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. We're with James Williams of Marshall. And tell us what your team's mindset is. I know that it was a bitter pill to swallow to lose in the first round of the playoffs and they don't intend for that to happen again. Uh, that's correct. You know, that's unacceptable and, you know, and something we take very personal. You know, our mindset is really like it always is. You know, we're going to get week, week by week, one at a time, work to get better. Uh, you know, again, like I said, the down the line is, is the goal. And one thing we've been able to do around here for many years is get better as the weeks go on, as the opponents go on, and become a, be a better team when it's come playoff time than we are at the beginning. So we're going to be tested right out the gate with a very tough client, uh, client team and Coach Hallmark over there. And, uh, again, like I said, we're excited for the challenge. It's definitely going to be a challenging regular season for us. There's a lot of guys we could name for your team, but let's just say that quarterbacks get too much credit, too much blame, too much attention, but that's just the way being a quarterback is. So I know you are set on your quarterback for the year, right? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, that's good. See, that's why we do these preview shows. But who are, who are the players contending to take most of the snaps for the Buffs? Well, uh, of course, Jacoby Banks played quarterback last year, scored 44 touchdowns, did a great job at quarterback for us this year. We also have uh, another quarterback, and, and Jordan, uh, Jordan Davis is a, a very good thrower. Uh, not as good on, with his feet as, as Banks is, but he does a great job and is very effective. So, you know, you never know what you're going to see this year. Well, we love to talk competition, and we love to talk to James Williams, and we'll see him on the field before several of our games this year and then hopefully playoffs after that. Speaking of competition, there are some media members outside your door competing to talk to you. They're making a lot of noise out there. I think I better wrap this up. Coach Williams, thanks for being with us on the VibeFortBend.com preview show. Thank you so much. Always honored to be here. All right, go Buffs. We'll be back. Back, 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 back to school savings for your vehicle. First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations make sure you won't be stalling out in the carpool lanes with 15% off AC Delco batteries, $100 off four installed tires, or save up to $75 on other repairs and maintenance minimums apply. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and to book your appointment today. First Tire and Automotive with four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Welcome back, everybody, to the VibeFortBend.com preview show. And we don't get to talk as long as we would like with all the coaches, but we, we would like to talk, uh, I don't know, maybe three segments. Probably won't do that many with Rick LaFavors of Ridgepoint. And, Coach, uh, I know that uh, you and the other Fort Bend coaches don't want to sound like whiners, but talk about the difficulties that you've had with weather, whether it's hot weather or lightning or rain, that have kind of kept you from preparing like you want to? 
It's just this fall camp, you know, our coaches and I and, and the other head coaches in the district were discussing just how challenging it's been this, this fall camp. We, we really haven't experienced uh, something like this where because the heat index, we've, we've been limited on getting out in shoulder pads and then we've had lightning and it just seems like every day something out of our control is, is affecting uh, the preparation uh, and such. And so... Uh, you know, with us heading into week one with, with Westlake, uh, you know, we want to get as many days of good preparation as we can. So, uh, you know, that's the concern. And, and But like I tell our kids, we got to control what we can control and we can't worry about the other and just keep moving forward. But uh, definitely, you know, the heat and the lightning, I think, has been a challenge this these last couple of weeks. And you used the expression before we started uh, doing this thing that it's almost like you're in a – a big heavyweight fight against someone like Mike Tyson in his heyday, and you haven't taken a punch. It's like you haven't been able to spar. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you, you know, part of the preparation and, and especially the first game is, you know, obviously there's heat conditioning, but there's there's contact conditioning and just your body being able to uh, to deliver a, a blow and then also take a blow and just that physicality that football is and uh, it is and and I use Mike Tyson because you know we're we're, we're going up to, to Austin to play Westlake and who's on a 42 game winning streak and three state championships. Uh, I think currently ranked number one in the state and five in the country. So it's very much like walking into Mike Tyson. And, and, uh, if you haven't, um, if you haven't been in the ring much to, to spar, you know, you <laughs> first punch that, that, uh, Westlake throws, you know, make sure that you're ready for. So, uh, that's what we're doing our best to try to do is be ready for those guys. Well, uh, hats off to you for scheduling them. It's a it's a bold move, and I wonder sometimes how those matchups come out, uh, come about. Sometimes I hear that maybe at a coach's convention, two guys raised their hands and made eye contact. Do you have acquaintances that are part of the Westlake staff? How did the matchup come about? Well, uh, we we originally were scheduled to play Shadow Creek. We had a week, you know, our schedule was set, and uh, and, and Shadow Creek's a formidable opponent in and of, of themselves. But uh, Coach Salazar, I, I don't know anybody on the Westlake staff, but he posted on our uh, statewide coaches app that they were they were needing a week one, and so um, I text our coaches and said, "Hey, you know, what do you think?" and uh, we 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 believe we're our programs at that point. We need to kind of see where we're at, and and uh, uh, you know Westlake will tell you real quick where you're at. And so um, we said, let's do it. Um, I wanted to make sure that that Coach Butler and Shadow Creek were able to get another game. So when I discussed with Coach Butler, they were able to schedule uh, Manville. So that was a win for them. And um, and so I called Coach Salazar and said, hey, we'd like to to play Week One and. Uh, we're going to go up there uh, this year, and then they'll come to us next year. And again, I just think it's—I feel like our program and our, our team. This is really the reason why I schedule is because our kids. I really believe in our kids, and I want to see where we're at and use it as a as a litmus test. And um, and as as we head into the district and in the playoffs, you know, if we want to get to where we want to be uh, with our goals and stuff long term, we're going to have to go through those guys and the, sh the the North Shores and things of that nature. So uh, why not find out real quick, you know, what you need to work on. Any possibility that the Westlake folks are experiencing some of the same stop, start, uh, you know, a few phases of practice that they'd like to do but can't like you have experienced? I hope so. I can only pray, <laughs> pray, pray that God's throwing rain and lightning in their direction uh, every day, uh, all day. But no, I, I don't know. I haven't even looked. I just you know trying to get us get ourselves ready. But um, you know how Texas weather is. I'm sure they're they've had a few moments and days. But uh, I just try to keep my head down and, and get our guys ready. We're talking with Rick Lefavors of Rich Point, and we'll take a quick break and be back and. Some of the folks that are going to be on the field for the Panthers in important positions and maybe a mystery man. We'll be back right after this. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. 
We're back with Rick LeFavors and the Ridgepoint Panthers trying to defend their championship in District 26A. It's going to be a little bit tougher, just one more team added to the mix. High Towers enrollment has swelled up a little bit more, and they are a high-quality team that can beat pretty much everyone in the state except Peyto, apparently. And um, what do you see in the district race with High Tower being added to the standings? Uh, it, it gets, you know, tougher. I mean, we didn't lose anybody, and and uh, it was already um, challenging, you know, with the teams that we had in it. And then you add, you know, a, a high tower that uh, tremendous talent and just, all, you know, great head coach. I love Coach Anthony and his staff and respect him so much. And and. Uh, you know, so it, it, it doesn't get any easier, and we face them early. We we after our two non-district games, we open up with Bush, who has uh, got you know tremendous defense coming back, and then and then we go high tower. So our first four ball games are going to be all we can handle. So for those who like history, those Tollway Cup games between Ridgepoint and High Tower when they were both in 5A, that was that was always electric inside the stadium. Now let's talk about uh, what's coming up. Who you're going to put? Uh, on the field and especially behind center, you know, I, I don't want to give too much hyperbole. I don't think it's quite fair to say B.J. Emanuel was a once-in-a-lifetime talent, but maybe a once-in-a-decade. But I think you have, from what I hear, you have some pretty good choices and a real battle to get most of the snaps for Ridgepoint. And what's that picture look like? We do. We have uh, f really four guys um, that uh, could start. You know, at, at really a lot of places in the in the Houston area, um, just really four talented uh, young men, and um, really the challenge has been getting each of them enough reps in the modified schedule, like I told you about oh, yeah. with the uh, the uh, lightning and all that stuff uh, throughout fall camp. So that's been a challenge. Um, it's a blessing to have all four of them, but it's it's definitely been a challenge to try to see which one. And we're nowhere close. You know, we're hoping this scrimmage to 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 get a little closer. But I mean, it might be you know um, a couple of games in the season until uh, we see one take the reins. But right now, we just hadn't had enough practice time and, and enough time under the in the fire uh, frying pan, so to say, to to really give one guy a nod over the other one. So. Or other four or three. Is it possible we could characterize your team as one where the defense starts a little bit faster than the offense? Because uh, the first guy that I think of is your four-year starter, soon to be four-year starter, DK Kalu. You always seem to have great talent on defense, and some of your guys on defense are faster than the other guy's fastest guy on offense. What's the defense look like? Uh, you know, I really think they're going to be elite, and and I, I you know I don't say that lightly. Um, we have five. Uh, Division One players on the line of scrimmage, um, and two in the back end, uh, possibly three. Uh, just a lot of lot of talent uh, on the defense. As good as I've you know had the pleasure of coaching, and just really excited. A lot of team speed. You know, eight returning starters, and um, you know they're going to have to help us. You know. Uh, uh, early in the season, as we figure out the quarterback situation, the offense, um, we're going to rely on them a lot to to allow our offense to, to come along. And you know, the beauty of our offense is we have you know a lot of talent there too. It's just some question marks, and who knows? We might we might know real quick uh, against against Westlake and, and Dickinson um, where we're at. But uh, definitely, just in the fall camp, I know it is a struggle uh, to go against <laughs> our defense. I have to keep reminding myself that uh, you know that's. Uh, you know, not normal. So that there's there's still hope for offense because uh, there's just there's just not much space there, and, and they play hard and fast. And Coach Allen does a tremendous job uh, on def you know getting our defense guys ready to go. And I'm thinking about okay, you're going to Westlake, and if uh, if you're going to shock the world, and most people would think it would be a shocker if you get the win. I don't think it's beyond the realm of possibility, but it sure would help if one of your Great, talented guys on the defensive front got one of those J.J. Watt type pick sixes. Maybe a little, you know, get a hat on the football and a scoop and score, and kind of get the lead. And then your defense would have confidence, and your offense wouldn't be under pressure to come from behind. That looks like a good scenario to me. But 
That's why I'm just a layman and not a coach. Uh, well, hey, I'll take. The, I love that game plan. Uh, that that would definitely work, and I would take it. But you know, DK, if you remember uh, last year's second play of the season, made a, a an interception uh, on a tailback screen. So definitely not out of the realm. But uh, yeah, we'll it, love for those guys, and that's always been kind of our formula, I guess, is just you know limit explosives, get some turnovers, and, and just give ourselves an opportunity uh, to be in position to, to, to compete and win. So. And by the way, uh, Ridgepoint fans and Coach LeFavors, everybody who's part of the Panthers, um, I regret that we're not going to be able to go to Austin and broadcast that one. Um, if circumstances were a little different, we might make that trip, but they come here next year, right? So we'll, we'll get to see Westlake and you'll get to hear us describe the game against Westlake, God willing, in 2023. Amen. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have a, a front row seat for you next year. All right. Well, looking forward to a good season for Ridgepoint, and, and we'll see how far our Fort Bend teams go, but we, we really like to still be seeing football games in December Amen. involving our Fort Bend folks. Thanks for being with us. Amen. Thank you. I appreciate it, Roger. And our fight, FortBend.com preview continues in just a moment right after this. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Welcome back to the VibeFortBend.com football preview show. And we've got changes at Hightower. Fortunately, they haven't changed the head coach. It is still Cornelius Anthony. He joins us now. And let me ask you, when you became the head coach of the Hurricanes, did you kind of foresee that maybe the next time the UIL realigned that maybe the Hurricanes would be going back to 6A? I did not. Uh, but it's, you know, it's part of the process. And so whichever level we play at, the Hurricanes will be ready, and I'm, you know, uh, excited about the new challenge, excited about going up a level and, and being able to, you know, put our stamp at the 6A level. I just try to observe things and listen to things and remember the, the really important ones. And one thing that I've seen is that when you go down in classification, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get easier. And when you go up, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be harder. It is going to be competitive for a playoff spot. But how do you see the district race now that Hightower makes it a nine-team district? Well, you the district is extremely competitive, like you mentioned, and so we just got to make sure that we are in that, that top four, and we got to make sure that we're in that number some way, somehow. And the main thing, I think, for us in order to be in playoff contention is just to stay healthy. So that's mainly just being smart on us as coaches and making sure we take care of our guys and practice because these guys practice so hard. And because they practice so hard, things can happen. And so we just got to be extremely smart to not lose a guy during practice. You know, injuries are a part of the game. They're, a lot of times they're uncontrollable. But, you know, one of the things that we have to do as a staff is just control the things that we can control. And that's to make sure that we take care of each other in practice. And speaking of staying healthy, do you anticipate holding a few players out, the ones that you know what they can do, holding them out during the two pre-district games? Yes. Uh, we, we, we started that even in the scrimmages. Uh, for the most part, the guys, like you said, that we know who, can, who, who have proven themselves as all-district players or all-state players or whatever, those guys get minimum reps you know, because we know what they can do and we just allow the guys who are fighting for positions to to get that those repetitions to get that that playing time and so uh, we want to be strategic in making sure we take care of our guys so that when it counts which is district um, you know our, we, we're playing with our best 11. We're talking with Cornelius Anthony of Hightower and he has his team back in 6A and 
it's going to be very interesting to see how it all shakes out. But they're speaking of interesting. I don't know if it's good interesting when you first heard the news. I know you're happy for your good friend Kendron Penson to be going over to Height uh, to Willow Ridge, and so that's a great opportunity for him. But he he leaves, so that that kind of means you have to do a good job hiring to replace him and of course he takes his talented son so who's going to be taking most of the snaps for the hurricanes or at this point do you know at at this point our uh starting quarterback is joseph stewart and uh you know he's a he's a sophomore he's a phenomenal quarterback he does a phenomenal job and he can really sling sling the ball and so we're excited to see what he can do and you know it's 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 a very competitive quarterback room. Uh, we're very, we, we got some athletes and some good quarterbacks at that position. But as of right now, you know, he, he's our starting quarterback. And so um, definitely excited for the things that he's going to do for this team. And, you know, we lost a good one in KJ and Kendrick Pinson Jr. But, we, I, you know, I'm excited to see what the future holds for uh, Joseph, JoJo Stewart. Well, let's think about how history can repeat itself. The times that Hightower has made it to the state championship game in football, they were always in the state's highest classification. So maybe get back there again and third time's the charm. How about that? And that'll be awesome. I'm I'm hoping that that statistic holds up. And like you said, third time is the charm. And so, um, you know, that's our aim is to be a state competitive uh, team. You know, last year, we were semifinalists, and so this year is just to raise the bar. Even at the 6A level, we definitely want to be teetering around that fourth, fifth uh, round and, and, and hopefully, you know, state championship. So, you know, that's our goal, um, and, and, and that's, that's what we're trying to do. So I'm excited. All right. I know you're excited. But I also know you're tired, and you should be, so we thank you for spending the time. Practices are long, the weather's hot, and then when you're ready to go in, I start pulling you aside. So thanks for the time. No problem. Thank you for having me. All right, VibeFortBend.com. We'll be right back. Back, 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 back to school savings for your vehicle. First Tire Automotive's four convenient locations make sure you won't be stalling out in the carpool lanes with 15% off AC Delco batteries, $100 off four installed tires, or save up to $75 on other repairs and maintenance minimums apply. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and to book your appointment today. First Tire and Automotive with four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. All right, Fort Bend County fans, it is time to tee it up. Our first week of football coverage starts on Thursday. That's tomorrow for those of you who are listening on Wednesday the 24th. Thursday, August 25th, it is Clements at Terry. We'll come to you from Trailer Stadium. And I've got to confirm this. I believe it's a 7 p.m. kickoff. So if it is, that means that our countdown to kickoff show starts at 640 on Thursday night. Clements and Terry, Rangers versus Rangers. Then the Willow Ridge Eagles will be taking on Lamar Consolidated on Friday night at Mercer Stadium. We'll have that one. Countdown to kickoff show starts at 640. And apologies to Kendron Penson, the new head coach of the Willow Ridge Eagles, that we were unable to make the (coughs) connection with him and get an interview done. Then on Saturday night, August the 27th, it is Clear Clear Lake coming to Mercer Stadium to take on the Dulles Vikings. And we'll start at 5.40 p.m. with the countdown to kickoff show. Then in week two, Thursday, September the 1st, Pasadena Memorial comes to Mercer to take on the Kempner Cougars. 6.40 p.m. with the countdown to kickoff show that night, kickoff at 7. Then Foster and Travis on Friday night, the 2nd of September, 7 p.m. kickoff. And by the way, Coach Trey Sissom of Travis, apologies to him, we were unable to get a face-to-face interview, and that's not his fault, it's mine. But I will say that Travis should be happy because I think we're scheduled to bring VipeFortBend.com listeners seven of their regular season games. So don't start complaining. I'm just kidding. Friendswood and Willow Ridge. We'll have our second Willow Ridge game in the second week. Mercer Stadium, Friendswood coming to take on the Willow Ridge Eagles and Thereafter, we get beyond Labor Day. We'll kind of make our decisions week to week. Roger Smith 
So happy to have you with us and Patrick Kinnick, my buddy, and sometimes James Kovaleski, when he's available, will join me in the broadcast booth and bring you these games at least three per week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and sometimes twice on Saturday. And don't forget Tuesday night volleyball. Those of you who are football players, whether it's varsity or sub-varsity, when you're having a home volleyball match or even a road volleyball match on Tuesday night, get there, get in the stands, be loud, but stay in the stands, and make it very, very difficult for the opponent to beat your volleyball girls. Tuesday night volleyball, highly underrated. Join us for that every time there's a Tuesday night during September, October, and going into November, we'll have volleyball. For all the team on VibeFortBend.com, Merle Bertrand, Suna Venkat, Shane Sholwinski, Patrick Kinnick, James Kovaleski, and of course, the man who captains the ship, Bob McKay, Roger Smith saying goodbye, and let's look forward to a great football season. Thank you for listening to our 2022 preview show, and we'll see you on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays.